See, I'm catching up, nigga. A little bit. If you came in this video looking for a good mid-taper tutorial, you came to the right place. I'm really finna make this dummy proof for y'all. Like, if y'all can't do it after this video, come on, man. Y'all see how he came in, how he left out, man. Stay tuned for the whole video. Don't miss a beat. Man, y'all see it, man. We at the high school. We at Dixon. Why the fuck is we here, gang? Four years ago. Oh, look at this nigga. He, he looking at us and shit. Thinking we students. We in here. You know what I'm saying? Giving back. Giving donuts to the community. It's 930, man. He folk better not be late to class. Forgot how big this bitch was. Damn. Haircut crispy though. God dang. I'm trying to tell you. Who the fuck did that? that? Motherfucker used to be kissing on that motherfucking nasty ass niggas. <laughs> horny ass high school. That, all them hormones and shit. You know, boy holding this bit, man. Ball. See, we in the class. Everything yeah, look, look, look different. I played in the field. Look, look at this ugly lad. Look, look. So happy, so look at this ugly lad. Yeah. Yeah. Cut ass. I did this shit, bro. This shit was, nah, you need a new barber, gang. We're gonna get that butt right, man. You know, she ain't gotta cut in like two, three weeks. We'll do a mid taper. Y'all gonna get everything to line up for two, the fade. The... You cutting that off today? Cut what up? This, the sides, bro. Yeah, you need yeah, to cut the sides yeah, off. Yeah, okay, yeah. thank you. This nigga be trying to keep up, keep trying to hold on to all this little stuff. We... Okay, whatever. Catch a cougar, bitch. You trying to catch a cougar? Yeah, bro. They fucking with the, they with the baby face, too, bro. It's, it's not what's on you, it's what's in you. Before the video starts, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, saying it's so bangers, you know what I'm saying? Hit that damn like button. Hit, hit it, man. You know, TikTok finna go down, downhill, man. So I need, I need some more revenue out there, bitch. So y'all go ahead, uh, subscribe, like, all that stuff. Boom. Sorry if I scared y'all, but yeah, man. We getting right into the thing, little mid taper, man. So we gonna start with that guideline. Look, look, look. We gonna put that thing in a rainbow, little arc shape. This to give it some contrast, some some definition, you know what I'm saying? That extra pop. So you wanna get your uh, trimmers and set that in, clean up everything underneath it. And then we gonna go ahead and while these are in our hand, we just gonna clean up the uh, facial hair too. And I'm gonna do it to the other side, just to show y'all a better view. Now, before you start fading, you wanna make sure you brush down that canvas. Then you wanna go in with your open lever and, and just like how we put in our guideline, we want to make sure we put in our second guideline in the same shape. So in order to do that, you want to make sure you use your corners of the blade and just kind of flick up about a, about a quarter of it, quarter to a half an inch. Don't go up too high. Just, as long as you don't go up too high, you straight. Then as soon as you put that initial uh, guideline in, you want to work underneath it. So all we're doing is lever play. So the lower we are in the fade, close that lever. Once you get up towards the, to the middle of it, you know, open it just a little bit. And then once you get to the top of it, open it all the way. And now we're gonna go in with our one guard open and make sure that thing open when you first doing it. And just like how the, how the guideline is at the bottom, um, we're gonna use just the corner, make it a rainbow uh, shape again. What I like to do, once I, once I close my uh, blade, um, I like to start in the center. Because the center you want to be the lightest and you, on the outside you want it to be the darkest. It's going to give it more of a rainbow shape. So I'm going to close my lever once I'm in the center and I'm going to open it a little bit more once I get towards the edges. As we can see, it has a little um, scar right there. So we're not even, we're just going to fade around it. And you keep doing your little detail work as you go. Now we're going in with our 0.5 guard, our half guard. And we're going to do the same thing, but just stay a little bit lower. And basically what we're doing right here is just cleaning up everything, cleaning up all the dark spots and stuff like that. After you're done with that, we're going to dig bolt with our 1.5 guard. So I'm going I'm to close the lever and I'm going to go against the grain. Then I'm gonna hit it with the one guard closed with the grain, just to smooth it out, kill all those, um, the stragglers, those standing up here. As you can see, this is a better view. I'm just basically just, just raking everything down, you know? 
Now I'm going with some more detail work. This is my one guard. I'm just kind of like playing with the lever. Any dark spots I see, just knocking them out, just so I don't have to do it later on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and debulk the back. And we're gonna do the same, pretty much the same step as we did on the side, just in a different, different area. So now we finished debulking, we're gonna go in with our guy line. I don't like to use the trimmers in the back because the hair is very sensitive. So I'm gonna go in straight with the clippers and I'm gonna put my ball guy line in with the lever open. Now I'm gonna fade everything underneath that. So I'm gonna start close and then kind of do lever play and flick all the way to that open. As you can see, I'm not going above that line. I'm just literally, um, I started off with my lever closed, started at the bottom, then open it just a little bit, flick up just a little bit more and then flicked up all the way to the open line. Now this is my one guard open. And we're gonna do the same thing we did at the bottom guy line, but just in the higher area. So I'm gonna start off with my lever open, go about an inch. Now I'm gonna lighten the area up so it's not such a harsh guy line. Um, I'm basically gonna do that by closing the, uh, the lever and just start flicking at the line to get it out. All we're doing right here is preparing to uh, knock out that, that, that line that you see with the .5 guard. So all you're doing is basically lighten everything up just to prepare for that. All right, we got the .5 guard. Now we're just gonna uh, kind of pick at that line. I'm starting off with it halfway open. So that way, if it's not cutting too much hair, I can close it and cut more. Or if it's cutting too much hair, I can open it and cut less. But you always wanna start off with it halfway just to be safe so you don't cut too much. And also make sure with this step, you're using the corner of your blade. Um, it's gonna be too harsh of a line if you use the full blade. So just use the corner and you'll be straight. As you can see, everything pretty much coming together. I'm just doing some detail work with my lever open, uh, no guard, just knocking out those dark lines. And now we're just gonna go ahead and line it up. Make sure you're not, you're not putting too much pressure and your clippers aren't too sharp. Cause behind the neck and behind the ear and stuff like that, that's is real sensitive right here. So make sure you don't cut your clients. When you're doing above the ear, you just want to use the corner of your blade and do a little a little rainbow shape. This is a very noticeable spot if you push it back. So make sure you try to keep it as, as low as possible. Now, when it comes to lining it up, you want to make sure you comb the hair out just so you don't like cut chunks out of his hair when you cutting it down. With his hair, I'm cutting it down with a one guard close. Um, I, I tend to, whenever somebody has light hair, I cut it down with a higher guard. But since his hair is pretty thick, I cut it down with a one guard close. This is 99% alcohol down wiping on him just to dry up the skin, uh, clean up all the, all the dirt and oil off his skin. Then I go in with holding spray. And I blow dry the holding spray down and brush it at the same time just to make sure you get that that crispy, you know, that crunch when you when you line them up. When you start to line up, you want to start in the middle and work your way towards the corners. Since his hair doesn't have any light corners, I'm starting on either side. If somebody does have a light corner, you want to start with a darker corner just so you have a distinct line of where the, the light side is supposed to be at. Um, now I'm going in with his vertical bars. Make sure not to push this back. I like to kind of visualize where the lineup is going to be before I line it up, just so I don't push it back. As you can see right here, the hair might be light, but still I'm going I'm to commit to that line because I know it's always hair right there. Now we're going in with the wall cord. The detail is getting that C cup right. 
Um, just use the corners. It may look like I'm using a full blade, but I'm just using that right corner. Once you're done with that, take a step back and match this side with the other side, and then you'll get it crispy. Then you can throw some handsprings on there. I use a brand called Heavy, and then I use a dark brown one so it doesn't look too, you know, too dark. I spray a light um, coat of this on first, and then I'll come behind it with some hair fiber just to make it look less shiny and more like hair. After that, I'm gonna blow dry and uh, dust them off. It's that spice ball, look at them. Yeah, I'm gonna blow dry once again, just to lock in all the enhancement so it don't go away. And you wanna line them up one more time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do his mustache. Make sure you don't uh, use too much pressure. It's very sensitive right here too, so. Now for that extra pot, we're gonna throw some chalk on it. I use the tan one. The white one's just a little bit too OD for me. So um, it's always about client's preference. So I, I I have white too, but it's just whatever they prefer. In my opinion, I go with brown. Um, it doesn't really matter how much you put at first because after that, we're gonna uh, line it up just like how we're doing it right now. And then we're gonna go behind it with the razor just to get it um, as thin as possible. If your chair leans back up, this is the time to lean it back. If it doesn't, just ask him uh, to lean his head back and try to be quick with it because that's a that's an uncomfortable position for him. Make sure you're always pulling the skin away from where you're razoring from, just to tighten it up, just to make sure you don't snag or you know cut anything that's loose. As you can see, we're pretty much done with the haircut now. I'm just gonna do my finishing details, get under the chin. He don't got too much facial hair. He's a little baby. Ass. Now for my favorite part, alcohol, man. Yeah, what that dude say, it's just alcohol. Man, I hate the alcohol, I ain't gonna lie. Some people love it, some people hate it, but I can't stand it. It's that junk OD burn. Especially right there, that mustache, look at it fake. Oh Lord. Throw that olive oil sheen on them just to help, help it shine, moisturize. If you want to see more future bangers with my boy, subscribe to his channel too. Solid Mark, man, you posting car content. Yeah, Solid Mark on every platform. Let me know what video, what videos, ideas y'all want next in the comments. Like what type of tutorials, y'all want vlogs and all that stuff. Well, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.